everybody. This is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com. And I was just reading up on this sort of newer front-end framework and it's, that's a lot like React um, called Solid. Now, why would you need another React if there's already React? Well, there's another like framework that I like quite a bit, Svelte. And I like Svelte because the syntax is nice and easy, but also the applications you build are really fast. And the reason why Svelte is able to achieve those speeds is because unlike Vue, Angular, and React, you're not shipping the framework with your code. So the basically the way like React, Angular, and Vue work is that the framework is actually kind of doing all the thinking and all of its doing its magic as the site is running. So you have this sort of framework that has to be brought in, has to be loaded into the user's browser, um, has to be do doing these constant computations to then render what you want to render. Okay, and that has some overhead to it. It's still pretty fast, but could be faster. So what Svelte does is that it takes a look at your code and compiles it to just plain JavaScript HTML and CSS. The benefit of this is that you still have the reactivity because it essentially will inject the plain JavaScript that we required for reactivity, but you don't necessarily have to have, but it, the benefit of that is you don't necessarily have to have this thing called a shadow or a virtual DOM constantly analyzing what needs to be re-rendered, what isn't. Everything will just kind of be sort of set, be given its sort of own standard event listeners that will trigger the re-renders when necessary of the content that needs to be re-rendered. And because of this, you're not shipping the whole Svelte framework with the website. You're just shipping a normal HTML, CSS website. Okay, and again, I live in Brooklyn, so you always hear sirens in the background. But um, basically, that's the cool thing about Svelte. The problem then becomes is like a lot of people don't necessarily want to learn a new framework, even though Svelte is super easy to learn, and I really enjoy Svelte's uh, ecosystem. So Solid, basically what it does is it says, hey, how about we have something like Svelte that compiles but make the actual workflow more like React? with support for JSX and suspense and other things that are sort of very reacty. So essentially it feels a lot like writing react, except you're not shipping the framework. So you're gonna have a much smaller bundle size and faster application, um, which makes a lot of sense. I wouldn't be surprised if actually react were to go and build their own version of this down the road. But right now you have solid and solid does have some differences. So it's not like a, an identical, clone to React, but I mean, if you are comfortable with like React's functional components, you'll be totally at home with solid. Okay, so like here's like some example of like solid code. See, it looks a lot like React, where basically your component's a function that returns JSX. Okay, that's the deal there. And this might remind you of like the React DOM render function here, where it's rendering the app component somewhere on your DOM. It, it pretty much works the same way. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look. I actually haven't really played with this yet. So what I've done is I've generated a new project and just kind of show you the command that would do that. So it's like npm init. And if you're not familiar with like how npm works, if you create a library that's called like create dash something, when you do init, it's going to assume that create. So technically the library you're using is actually called create solid. It's a generator they have for creating a solid, to use one of these solid templates, which will look a lot like create react app, but it's npm init solid and I think you can do that with create react app too so you should be able to do like npm init and it would be react app um, but essentially what happens here is npm init solid and then app ts is the template there's app which is just a normal javascript uh, version of the solid template and I'm doing a typescript version of the solid template and I just called it first solid so I get this first solid folder after it's done installing and if you take a look at it, it looks like you would expect a React app to look like, you know, has the index.tsx that renders the app to the DOM. We have our app component, which is kind of our entry point. You know, looks very much like you would expect. Now, if I look in the package.json, we kind of examine and see just kind of like React does, it, it kind of abstracts away its scripts. So I'd have to like look deeper to see sort of like what's going on as far as like the build tools being used. I think I remember hearing someone saying they're using Vite. Vite is very similar to Snowpack in the sense that they're using, it uses modules. Um, but let me see, I can go in here, I can go, not public, node modules. I can go take a look at the solid library or solid scripts. 
solid scripts just because I'm curious as to what they're doing there under the hood solid scripts let's take a look at what they're using there uh, it's both CSS oh they're using webpack okay that answers that question they are using webpack for bundling not Vitae I think that's what Svelte kit is going to be using now Svelte kit switched over from snowpack to Vitae which snowpack is sort of like I mean, Svelte Kit is sort of like the new version of Sapper. Sapper being like the static site, or not the the next JS of the Svelte world. Okay, except they're kind of Svelte is kind of moving in the direction where like that's just where you start. There isn't like Svelte and then like the next JS of Svelte. There's just Svelte Kit. It's kind of like the direction they're moving in. In the same way, like a lot of people are just kind of using Next JS as sort of as React, like. Instead of using create react app, they just start with Next.js now. Um, so that's a thing. But yes, okay, so so Solid is using uh, Webpack under the hood. Okay, so now that we know that, all fine and good. Let me just close the node modules. And let's uh, take it out for test spin. Let's, let's clear this out. Let me see what the commands are. So I'll look at my package.json, look for the scripts. NPM start looks like to be our winner. NPM start. Okay, it's running the thing. It's building the site. And there you go. Looks very much like your standard React app. Okay, very neat. Okay, and then basically it looks like from reading the documentation, like under the hood, what it's using is things like lit element and other cool, t other cool like web component type thing and tag template literals to, to kind of have to get the result that it gets, which is pretty neat. It's a very interesting application of those technologies. But yeah, let's play around with it. Let's go to the app component. So let me open up app, so source app, not app CSS, I wanna open up app TSX, because that's the component. And we're gonna take a little bit more space here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna empty this component out, just clear everything out except this div. Okay, so see that's emptied out. And all I wanna do is just create like a counter. H1 my counter. And then H2, here we'll have the count. But first we need to actually create the count. So the way it works is we're going to import something from solid, solid JS. And if I remember right, I think it's like create Signal. So these are like all the little hooks that are included inside SolidJS. So it's like create signals for like, it's like basically your, um, it's kind of like your use state hook. Um, I'm assuming use this, this is gonna be like use effect. Um, memo is gonna be like use memo. I'm not sure what that one does yet. Uh, deferred is like for suspense which is like a, I've never actually used suspense in React yet, so I'm not 100% clear. Context is probably gonna be like use context in React. Create computer, that's gonna be probably like um, a mixture between, kind of like using a computer property like you can in Vue, except in React, you would do that through like use memo. So how would that be different than use memo per se? I guess because maybe, maybe it's for just a computed value, which I don't know if there is an equivalent in React, so that'd be cool and then create component that we don't need to use because that's generally used under the hood when it translates everything. Okay, so I'm gonna use create signal and create signal is gonna work just like use effect. So in my application, I'm gonna say const count set count equals create signal one, okay? So kind of like you would be in the React where I created a piece of state and then now I have the set state function to change it and cause things to re-render. Uh, you end up having the same thing here, create signal. So now I could interject the count here. Just like I could in React. So that should show up there. Let me refresh the page. Oh, at some point I closed the, so let's run that server again. There we go, so there's my counter. But now I wanna be able to change the counter, so I'm gonna create a button. 
that's going to say add. Okay, and I want to create an, a function for that button. So let's say const um, add equals, let's just write a function. And all this function does is set count to count plus one. Okay, and why does it like, like that? Operator plus can I be applied to types. Types. Mm, okay. Oh, here's where TypeScript becomes fun, fun. So let's see here. Let's do this. So say const num equals count plus one, because I won't feel like having to figure out what the types are for set count. I will just say num. There we go. Still doesn't like this. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, so what it wants me to do is this, because it's saying you can't add like a function that returns a thing. Because technically this is a a getter function in a sense. That's the way they're implementing it. Um, so what I need to do is say num equals count. Or like num1. And then we'll just say num2. And that's going to equal num1. Now why doesn't it like that? Can't find name num1. Oh, because I didn't put const. Okay. You declare num1 because see. And see, that's a difference than React. With React, this would just be a variable. So technically here, technically count is a function that returns, but since it's a signal, it knows to use the function as a getter. So that's something to keep in mind. So technically, actually, I could just get rid of all this now that I know that and just do this. Count plus one. And there we go. Okay. So now we know that our variable, well, I could just use it in my template as state, like I would normally use state in React. In my JavaScript, I have to realize it's a getter function, not, not standard variable. Okay. Although probably solid in translation figures that out. Um, but again, I'm using TypeScript, so it's going to complain about types. Okay. So let's see here. I think I have to just now attach the function. So on click equals add. So again, this is not a intro to React in JSX course. The idea is I'm using solid, which just uses a lot of the same React ideas. So if you don't know React, this is going to seem very foreign. But if you do know React, this should seem right at home. And um, now this should work. And there it is. Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I mean, basically, you get the uh, you can build a faster app using the same sort of react patterns that you're used to some minor differences as we saw here like uh, this is a little bit different than i'd be used to but wasn't terribly hard to, to, to piece that together without necessarily a deep read into the documentation but that's what solid js is okay hopefully uh this served as a introduction that may interest you in trying to build your uh, a, a fun side project with solid js as kind of give it a test run I um, always love playing with all these different frameworks and just learning more and more about uh, the world of framework on the front end and back end. So have a great day and enjoy, and um, I'll see you around.